Ecuador's Tungaragua volcano shot lava a half a mile over its crater overnight, and it's blasting rocks and gas almost two miles from its sides. The renewed eruptions in central Ecuador began last week, and plumes of smoke and gas are rising as high as three miles over the 16,479-foot crater. Ecuador's emergency authority are preparing shelters and have already began evacuating people in villages close to the volcano. Tungarahua is one of Ecuador's most active volcanoes. For NBCNews.com, I'm Dara Brown. Major rumblings in Russia's Far East as a dormant volcano springs back to life. Quiet since the 1970s, this volcano is erupting again. Volcanologists say that a crack about three miles long appeared on the slope of the volcano and that lava is pouring out. The lava poured into a river valley, destroying a volcanologist's research base and local tourist campsite. Fortunately, both sites were empty at the time. First eruptions of the volcano began back in November and volcanologists say it is too early to judge when they just might end. By day, it's a spectacular sight as Tungurawa spits plumes of ash and rock high into the sky and thick smoke billows ever upwards from its core. But behind the beauty of this volcanic eruption lies a killer. There's already been three explosions in the crater and volcanologists are concerned. This is much more fuerte. This is a lot stronger than the last eruption in September. We're talking about a different level this season. Last night we had levels that we've rarely registered. The lava pouring down the slopes travels extremely fast and consumes everything in its path. Locals are being advised to get out now before it's too late. The best thing is for people to begin leaving the higher up areas, where the clouds are basically, and come down to the refuge houses we've set up. Tungurawa is just over 5,000 meters high and has been classified as active since 1999. It's been erupting since last week, swamping acres of land with lava and dumping dirty black ash for miles around. For these local farmers, that spells disaster. Their entire crop is in tatters. And there's no sign of Tungurawa going back to sleep anytime soon. Wendy Urquhart, BBC News.